My name is Jason Larson. I work for IOActive, which is a security consulting firm in Seattle. We do uh, um, all manner of reverse engineering, finding bugs and everything from cars to planes to smart meters and all of that type of stuff. And this is a brave new world. All of the manufacturing processes and development processes that we've used uh, previously, when we shrink everything down to Internet of Things scale, everything has gotten very, very small. And so as uh, people approach this and they're not really used to this, uh, this small development process, they're not usually aware of the security uh, risks that are inherent within the hardware they're sticking their, their code and their product into. So uh, they're taking the principles that they used in their embedded systems and now they're trying to apply those principles uh, to the, to the uh, a purely silicon system. And so most of the time they don't know if they've made good or bad choices and they're looking for um, I'm looking for feedback on how hard is this. And the answer for anything silicon is with enough time and effort, you will always be able to go in there and get the data out, get all the secrets. So one of the things that uh, our customers want to know is the level of effort it's going to take to extract the secrets from this particular chip. The attacker community is, is learning silicon security right now. And what uh, IOActive is really interested in is uh, what are these techniques that can lower the bar to entry and, and bring them from a much, uh, a much more infrastructured attacker down to kind of a hobbyist attacker. And so uh, IOActive is getting into the chip community ahead of the rest of the security research community. But all of this equipment is, is iterative. We take uh, images, we change the chip, and then we interactively work with the chip while it's running software in various hardware environments. We go to the scanning electronic microscope to see what features are there and what we might want to probe and start reverse engineering the chip itself. And we go to the focus ion beam to make changes to the chip and how the chip runs. If we want to interactively change uh, something during runtime in the chip, then that's when we go to the probing station and we would drop a probe down onto the appropriate spot of the chip and we would interact with the electronics while they're running. So everybody's kind of going to this. IOActive tends to run at the forefront of security research. We tend to explore new areas before the other labs do. So eventually everybody's going to have to have either a lab like this or partner with somebody that has a lab like this. And so IOActive is one of the first security consulting firms that's really going down to, into the silicon, reaching into the chip and seeing what we can do. All security will fall. Um, we've seen that time and time again. And chips are no different than, than software. Eventually, eventually things will fall. So IOActive has a deep investment in tools and people. And a lot of our work feeds back into building labs like this so we can explore the boundaries of security, things that are going to come up a year from now, two years from now in the general attacker community. We're there looking for those, uh, those vulnerabilities and what's new and what's going to be uh, relevant a couple of years from now and trying to apply them today.